You know, sometimes you see a story that just leaves you stunned in disbelief. Like it is so fucking bonkers that it just beggars belief. And I saw one of these stories on Twitter yesterday that I just have to talk about. Because not only is it bonkers, it's being backed by the future King of England, Prince Charles of Wales. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Masks for cows. That's right. Masks for livestock. Now, I know what you're thinking. They're not COVID masks. These are masks that are designed to capture cows' burps so they don't pollute the atmosphere and add to global warming. We'll get right into the story after this 30-second sponsor. See you on the other side. Bearing, bearing, bear, 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 bear. In 2000 and current year, it's really important to keep your body healthy all the time. Collagen may be the closest thing we'll ever get to the so-called fountain of youth, while also forming a wall of defence between your immune system and the rest of your body. A lot of health experts now agree that consuming collagen is crucial when it comes to renewing and revitalising how you look and feel. So visit my page at healthwithbear.com and secure your supply of the only collagen on the market I trust. Link in the description. So this is from the Metro. Prince Charles loves gimp masks for cows that will cut methane from their burps. Oh my god. Here's a picture of it. So it looks like this thing doesn't even cover the cow's mouth, which kind of defeats the purpose. I mean, not that you could cover a cow's mouth, because they fucking graze all day. They eat grass all day. So I guess it's meant to catch the air as it sort of goes up or something. And then this weight sort of looking thing around its neck, I suppose, stores the carbon. I don't know. There's a number of things wrong with this, but let's look at the article first. So it says, Prince Charles has backed a mask device for cows that would capture their burps to tackle carbon emission. The device is worn around the animal's face and is designed to neutralise the methane they emit in real time. He met with the contraption's designer during a climate change event, during which he aired concerns over the urgency with which it is being tackled. Yeah, this ain't the way, mate. This ain't the way. Besides, I thought cow farts were the problem. You need to create some sort of muffler for the cow's Asshole. I mean, just like AOC said in a Green New Deal fucking thing, whatever it was. We gotta stop the cow farts. We gotta stop the farting cows. And that was her actual language. She didn't say flatulence or gases. She said cow farts. Fucking dumb bitch. Charles spoke with the designers at the Royal College of Art event. <laughs> Well, that makes sense, the Royal College of Arts. Working on novel ways to bring down carbon emissions, Francisco Norris, founder of ZELP, Zero Emission Livestock Project, said it was a great honour to speak with the prince, four years after showing him his striking invention. The cattle industry is a major contributor to the planet's carbon footprint, with natural emissions from cows putting huge quantities of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere every day. Charles was assured that the face device doesn't bother them at all when he asked if it was annoying for the cow wearing it. Well, I bet it would be fucking annoying. Wearing a mask annoys me, and that's just a flimsy fucking surgical mask with elastic straps, not some big dumbbell thing around my neck. <laughs> and a fucking gimp thing around my nose. See, here's the thing, right? As I said, cows graze all day, every day. I'm sure it would piss them off. I mean, when you're constantly using your chompers, imagine having this thing around your face. The other thing is the cost. My old man's got a farm where he runs a bunch of cows, and they do it on a fucking shoestring, because you have to. If you want to make a profit, you've got to do it as cheaply as possible. Now, what's one of these things going to cost? I bet it's not that cheap, and when you've got, say, 2,000 fucking cows, you're up for a big expense. Anyway, the article continues. He visited the university's Terra Carta Design Lab in South London to meet with the winners of a design competition. Speaking at the event, he said there are crises that are confronting us in all directions, arising from climate change, which highlighted the importance of finding solutions rapidly. He added that with the designer's ingenuity, we'll have a better chance of winning this battle in shorter time. Oh, that mask looks ridiculous, doesn't it? It truly does look like a cow gimp suit. A BDSM bovine, if you will. One of the designers, Isabella McKenzie, said that Charles joked about the colour white not looking good on him. <laughs> I say. While fellow designer Jun Kamai said he was very curious about the product. Charles launched the competition alongside Sir Johnny, or, or Joni, Chancellor of the RCA, as part of the Prince of Wales Sustainable Markets Initiative. It was inspired by the initiative's Terra Carta, or Earth Charter, which is a roadmap for businesses to set commitments for sustainability by 2030. Yeah, again, imagine the cost of getting every fucking cow on Earth one of these burp gimp masks. And like I said, isn't at least half the problem from their assholes? What about the cow mufflers? We need cow mufflers. And so 
then every farmer's going to be up for a fucking a cow burp gimp mask and a cow asshole muffler for every cow they've got. That's just not sustainable. The four winners will receive £50,000 from Sustainable Markets Initiative as seed funding to invest in their startup businesses. Well, I think that was cuckoo for Cocoa Pops, and this will just not be viable. I mean, unless you want to see the cost of beef like quadruple. Anyway, I just thought that was a bit crazy and that I'd tell you about it. What are your thoughts? Leave them down in the description. I could be wrong about all this. Who knows? I'm going to send this article to my dad and see what he reckons. I bet he ends up rolling around on the floor laughing. All right, thanks for watching. I've been Barry. See you next time. Ta ta. Recession, session. Give me better ties, give me better ties. Recession, session.